so we're back in the studio and that feels good uh, after two weeks of holiday uh, I made a few sketches uh, where we stayed not because I was afraid to give it up for a few days but um, what I immediately miss is uh, that energy what you get when you are fascinated by something and you try to capture it on a piece of paper when you see this fascination on a, on a piece of paper, then, you've, then there is a lot of energy. And maybe I have to say that I'm quite addicted to, <laughs> to this energy. So I think that's the only reason why I made a few sketches uh, these days. Um, because uh, I, I think I can say that that painting has has become work now. So when there is holiday, I, I don't do a lot. I know artists who are painting and sketching all the time, from the morning till till the night. And um, sometimes I wish I could do that too, because I see how clever they capture difficult shapes, because they watching and drawing it all, all the time so they find their own language to to make it i've been trying this so i bought a sketchbook um a few sketchbooks actually and i lay them everywhere in my car at home here in the studio in my uh, backpack but uh, it didn't work for me so i'm an artist who is working on discipline i guess um, and it doesn't matter, I see discipline as a very useful tool to keep me going. And there is a lot to do yet. Uh, this morning I visited a, an office here in town and they will let me make a large watercolor of the government building. And this watercolor painting will be printed on wallpaper. They used to, to do this earlier, uh, a year ago, with another watercolor of mine. And it, it looks amazing. It's It's really strange to see your own work on a huge format on the wall because every little accident and splash on the paper becomes huge too so that's a special experience for me personally so i'm, I'm really looking forward to make this one for them um, but that means a lot of measuring and counting and um, so i tried to do that this morning and then i will have a call this morning with them and um, i hope we can start today uh, and then there is another uh, house portrait for the beginning of September. It's an oil painting, so I want to start with this one quite soon as well, so the oil paint can dry and I can varnish it. And then there are some deliveries this week. I have to go to Amsterdam to deliver a few house portraits. So we are busy on Monday, but first I will make a nice cup of tea. Discipline is paying forward. I think most of the time I'm working on discipline. As I said, discipline is one of the most useful tools we own. But what is it? Where can we find it? You can train it. Training every day to enlarge your attention and focus brings surprisingly progress. But what for, could you think? In the morning I start alone in my art studio. And tonight I will leave alone. Well, I think discipline is paying forward. As I told earlier, painting is working behind the scenes. In the beginning, nobody asked me to do this, and maybe that's the strongest motivation for creating art. The first reason to train your discipline is you. It is an easy escape from this pressure of daily routines made by your environment. And if you take it seriously, if you are able to reflect on what you create, you will find your way. You will meet people you can trust, people who understand what you want. This kind of communication through art is magic. It's the purest way of communicating straight from the soul. If you create something and no one asks you for that, you could have found a thousand reasons not to do it. Apparently there was a kind of pressure to pull it out. I call it pressure, maybe it's a certain resistance too. For me it's the client's wish for the work he or she wants me to make. 
This makes the schedules and the pressure to let me get up early and do my best every day. The daily doubts and resistance are part of the deal. Discipline and persistency show the essence that your work deserves. It all starts with your talent. Your talent is a gift, but you pay with discipline. Discipline is not a gift, you can create it. So saying that you can't find the discipline to start or accomplish something is useless. You won't find any discipline in the whole universe. You won't find it there like you won't find knives or a pair of scissors either in the universe. It's a tool made by humans. How could you make it yourself? Well, I think you only have to know what you really want. I had several jobs in the beginning, but I always took the time to make paintings, although no one asked me for that actually. But I knew I was paying forward. And if there's the willingness to work for it, it's not hard to create discipline.
So the, the composition, the shapes, the first washes and the shadows uh, are done this week on this watercolor painting and then next week the light will be painted. So reflections and shimmering lights, that's the best part always, that brings life in the watercolor. I'm really looking forward to, to finish it next week. Uh, some of you will uh, maybe notice that uh, <laughs> I was working on two of these paintings uh, this week and the reason was, uh, I didn't tell you yet, but the reason was that I started with this watercolor painting and of course the size is very straight because it will be printed on a wallpaper for a wall here in this, in this office. But <laughs> at the end of the first day I noticed that um, I was, I was, I, I had a painting in the, in the standing format, you know, and it, I had to lay it down like this because the wall is, is, is in this format, not in the standing format. Oh, and I couldn't change anything about that, and uh, I, I just went home. And uh, next day I started a new one, and uh, I realized that that when they're both done, I have another watercolor painting for a gallery maybe or I don't know what I will do with it it's it's really a good subject so we will see I'm afraid that I will disappoint clients by letting letting them wait too long maybe before the work is done not that, that I need that much time for a painting but um, the list of commissioned paintings is getting longer and longer and for me that's of course a good thing because there is a lot of work to do but um, it gets longer every month and uh, of course I receive emails sometimes by clients who are asking me if maybe the painting is finished yet and then I have to disappoint them. And then I really would like to say that it only takes one or two weeks but it's not the truth so I have to be honest and I have to let them wait for several months. Um, and I was really worrying about this, this week. Uh, I felt a certain pressure. And the pressure is good, of course, but did, this didn't feel very well. And um, then I was thinking about uh, what somebody said in an interview I saw on YouTube. I think it was Rick Rubin, and he, he said that artists should know that you always have to separate business from the art. And in the beginning I didn't understand what he was talking about because you need this business. You need to find people who love and buy your art. But later I understood what he was talking about. It is that this business has nothing to do with the creative process. It has nothing to do with what's going on here on the table. So I Today I accepted that I feel a certain pressure. It's not the pressure of all the paintings that I have to make. That's, that's only, I do this with a lot of pleasure and joy and, and love. But the, 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 the pressure I feel is because I will let them wait, those clients. But today I parked this pressure somewhere over here in the corner of this room and I started concentrating on this process here on the table. And I didn't feel any stress anymore. So that was the lesson for this week. Uh, business is important but it has nothing to do with creative process. Well this was really a long day. I had dinner here tonight and uh, now I will pack all the paintings and put in the car so I can deliver them uh, later this week. Thank you so much for watching these videos and um, yeah, I can say that it's, it's really special to share all my thoughts with you, with people who understand what I'm talking about and recognize uh, things. It's, it's one of the best, best things in these modern times that we can connect on the web. So thank you for that and thank you for watching and uh, see you next week.